by fire. You are the Lord that answered by fire. Fire, you are the Lord Jehovah, Jehovah. You are the Lord Jehovah. Oh, you are the Lord Jehovah that answered by fire. Yeah, you are the Lord Jehovah, Jehovah, oh, you are the Lord Jehovah, hallelujah, you are the Lord Jehovah, that answered by fire, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, blessed be the name. Unto you alone be your praises and honor. Thank you for this great day. Thank you for the new month. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies and glory forevermore. Jehovah Shaddai, we appreciate you. We thank you for whom you are. You are a loving Father. Glory to your holy name. Thank you for counting us among the living. Thank you from the beginning of this year. Despite all the struggles, all the troubles in the world, Father, you have made us to escape all. It is your doing, O Lord. We magnify your name. We honor you for the rest of the year. You. you will do greater things in our lives. As many as will be telling us this morning, Father, they will never remain the same. Wherever you are hearing us from, I decree the hand of the Lord will touch you. The mighty hand of the Lord will reach you. And that hand will enrich you for success, for breakthrough, for healing and deliverance. In the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you to this program this morning, the first Sunday, the second day, the month of August. It is the Lord's doing. And this is to show that our God is a loving God, is a loving Father. Mighty is His name. So we want you to uh, share the button, uh, click on the share, and share to others. Tell people about this program. And also this afternoon at 2 p.m. UK time, Ghana time, and Nigeria time, we shall be having the heart to heart talk uh, from where we stopped last Sunday. It was marvelous. And today is going to be more marvelous and glorious. So, indicate that you are there with us today as we are fellowshipping together. We have this topic to treat this morning and that topic is overcoming power overcoming power how can you have it how can i have it many people do have it they don't know number one you need to believe in yourself if you don't believe in yourself you'll be running her task if you don't believe in yourself you cannot believe in god uh, after the afternoon program last uh, week, somebody called me from the U.S. and the first thing he said was, please pray for me. I said, I, I don't believe him. Somebody asking me to pray for him. You can pray yourself. Who told you that I am better than you? Who, who told you that uh, I am closer to God than yourself? So I called the brother, I can only counsel you, I can only teach you how to fish, not to be giving you fishes all the time. And at the end of our conversation, the brother was blessed. So somebody here today, you are going to bless. Uh, this program is going to be on our radio program in Nigeria every Wednesday on Rock City FM, uh, 7.30 to 8.00. PM. And many people after the program, they phone us. Uh, we, list, we just listen to your program now. And the next thing is that 
we need financial assistance. We are not on platform to ask for money. We don't take tithe and offering from anybody, and we don't live by an offering of the people. We this is self-sponsored program. We don't ask people to donate money to this ministry. And we have been doing it for a long time. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. We are living by faith. You are supposed to live by faith if you are a just. And how can you be a just person? How can you receive this overcoming power? How can you acquire it? How can you get it? So out of what we have received is what we are giving to you. Uh, there's a case about John and uh, Peter at the hour of prayer when they were on their way to the uh, to the temple to pray. They met a crippled man who usually you know, been placed there every time people are coming into the uh, the auditorium to pray. And this man usually begs from the people. So that particular day, he came in contact with Peter and John. And you know what? Peter and John said, fasten your eyes on us. Look on us. And the man expected as usual to put their hands into their pockets and give him some arms. But Peter said, silver and gold have I known. But such as I have, I am not sure my brother John. So, pastors, this is the time to rise up. Share out of what we have to the people. Don't pretend. Don't give out what you do not have, what you have not received. And anything we want to receive spiritually from God is free. Jesus Christ didn't die for his ministers alone. He died for the whole world. And this is the commandment of the Lord Jesus to his disciples. Go out into the world, preach the gospel, teaching them how to have all things I have commanded you. And he said, Behold, I am with you always. So you need to believe in yourself. After you have believed in God, like Jesus said, He said, Believe in me, believe in the Father, believe also in me. You need to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Without believing in yourself, how can you believe in God? The God that you have not seen. The God you have not seen. How can you believe? The devil will just take advantage of you. And the Bible says that people perish for lack of knowledge. You might think you belong to God, you are a child of God, but if you lack knowledge, if you lack understanding, if you lack what you have, what you have, what God has given to you, you can't pass it to us. You can't help anybody. And that is the result we are getting in our in our in our nation, Nigeria, in Africa generally. So this morning, I want us to read from first John. Once again, I want to welcome you. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It depends on the areas where you are. This afternoon at 2 p.m., we are going to listen to a lady evangelist from California who will be sharing us for at least 30 minutes. So, and it's going to be powerful. The woman was a, a prophetess in my former church. Let me not go into details, but join us on our YouTube and Facebook channel. God bless you as you are joining us. Let's invite more people. You are blessed this morning. And forever you are blessed. You are whom God says you are. <laughs> All you need is understanding. This dispensation is, is a unique dispensation. The Bible tells us that Jesus was over Jerusalem. What made him to weep? He wept because 
He said, for you didn't know the days of your visitation. So people are shouting, people are crying during this time because they didn't know what is happening. They didn't know what is going to happen after. My brother, my sister, prepare yourself. Jesus is at the door. He said, behold, that is Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. I am at the door knocking. If anyone hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him. Satan is so wicked. All these years, don't get time alone. Since the time Jesus came to the world, even before he came to the world, since he was the throne to the earth, it's been causing problems all over the places. But I have this good news to tell you about. And that is in Revelation chapter 12, where the word of God said, the devil knew he has spent a short time. I've come to announce to you that the time of the devil is over. Over your life, his time is over. This is the time for you to rise according to Isaiah chapter 60. He said, Arise and shine, for thy light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Darkness covered the earth. Gross darkness covered the people. People are in darkness. People are in, in, in a confused stage all over the world. But you, you can rise and shine. So this is the time for they that know they are God. Among so many fake gods, this is the time for for you know your God. And how can you know this God? How can you know him? You can't know God outside his word. You read John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And God is that word. Undying word of God. The rhema. The real word of God. This is the time to be close to your God, your maker. As I said, believe in yourself first. Know who you are in Christ. Because outside Christ, you are nobody. How can we identify a sinner? The Bible says, anyone that is into sin is of the devil. So it's easy to know whether you belong to God or to the devil. Very easy. You are the only one that knows that in your heart. And that is why the Bible says, who is a Christian? A Christian that is, who is a Jew? A Jew means a, a, a God's nation, you know, God's people. <laughs> who is a Jew? A Jew is not of the outside, of the inside. <laughs> so if, the, and the Bible also says that if your spirit condemns you, you are already condemned. But if your spirit justifies, your heart justifies you, because God is spirit. He dwells on the inside, not on the outside. Don't forget that the Bible says a, a, a time will come. When it, it, you know, Satan also can disguise himself as an angel of light. So don't believe all spirits. Best that spirit. All these things, they are meant for the children of God. How to know who is who in a confused stage as we are today. This time, beloved, let us go to the Word of God. Open your Bibles with me to First chapter 5, and we shall be reading from verse 5. Don't forget, overcoming power. How can you receive it? How can it be yours? How can you acquire it? How can you be where God has planted you? How can you reign above circumstances? How can you live high? You know, with Christ in heavenly places in this world. How can you survive this terrible time? Don't forget I said Jesus wept. <laughs> As he's weeping over our nation today, he wept. Our nation seems as if there are no Christians there. There are no churches there. There are no men of God there. Because we have missed it a long time ago. But it's calling us back to return back. You want to be one of the people that want to return to their maker, to their God. We have missed it. Let us not deceive ourselves. All these lies we are saying on our pulpits, all this deceitfulness, we are deceiving people. All this kind of fake life we are doing, 
He said, I said, it is what you have that you can give to others. If you don't have peace of mind, you can't transfer it to anybody. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Why do you want to perish? In this world, you have a choice. From the beginning of the world, God said, Behold ye this day, I place before you life and death. And God went further to say, choose life. So, in order not to make mistakes, choose life. So, the life you are living depends on your choice. If you chose to live, you will live. If you chose to be confused, you'll be confused forever. If you chose to go your way, the end is destruction. So it's only late as you are living, retrace your footsteps. Come back to the word of God. The word of God is there as atlas for us, as direction, to give us direction. You know, where we have missed it, we can retrace our steps back to God. We are coming back to that. That is in Amos. That record is in Amos chapter 8 from verses 11 to 13. We are coming to read that. So that you will know the dispensation we are in. Many of us we didn't know. So we listen to the wrong voices, wrong advice. That is the problem we have. People that have lost, they want to show us the way. People that didn't know the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Just life. When you choose Jesus, you have all it takes to have a victorious life, to be a overcomer, to have overcoming power, to reign above circumstances, above issues. At our second program last week, somebody made a comment and said, it's only in a brother you can be saved. Those of you who know me very well, this August, it will be two years that I've been in this country. All this why I've been coming since 2000. Coming three weeks, two weeks, one month, I return back to Nigeria. This message has not changed. All I've been saying, <laughs> it has been consistent. I've never mingled my message. I've, I've never deviated from what I've been preaching all this while, if you have been following me. And I will get there because I've entered into error before. I now came out from error and I want to enter into another error. God forbid. But it's not going to be blamed for my second mistake. It's not going to be blamed for your second mistake you are making. I wonder when people will claim they are born again and they are restless. They are jumping from one, one religion to another religion. Religion cannot save you. Only Jesus can save. Let me come out clearly today. All, all the churches we think we have today, they have failed God. And there are some places they, are, they don't even, Christ has never passed through them. That's what we are going to treat at the second section today, 2 p.m. Be with us on Facebook and on YouTube. God bless you. So we are reading from verse 5, 1 John 5. Father, we thank you for the honor you have given us. We return the glory back to you. Father, this is your word. It's not Pastor Shueto's word. It's not our own word. It is yours. And except you open our hearts, unless you open our eyes, we are as blind as someone that is blind, you know, completely, even from the mother's womb. But we thank you because when we come to you, our blindness, you will open our blind eyes and you give us understanding. And therefore, all our listeners today, all that are watching us today, Father, touch their hearts, mm -hmm. touch their eyes, mm -hmm. touch their hearts mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. And who is the one who conquers the world? But the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. As simple as that. <laughs> oh! Those people that believe Jesus is the Son of God. 
then you you continue from there you build on that revelation you build on that revelation that when jesus was physically on earth he asked the disciples what people do call the the, 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 the servant of god the the son of god or the son of man whom do they think that i am or the followers some of them say you some people thought you are elijah they thought you are elijah they thought you are uh, uh, geo you are a master you are you, you yourself that has been following me all this while whom do you think that i am peter caught the revelation the revelation flashed into his heart i pray that revelation of who you are and who jesus is will flash in your heart it will not just flash through it will remain with you for life that is where you start from. Then let's continue the next verse. Jesus Christ, he is the one who came by water and blood, not by water only, <laughs> but by water and by blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies because the Spirit is the truth. Don't forget, God is Spirit. <laughs> so for there are three that testify the spirit the water and the blood the spirit is god the water is the word of god and the blood is the one shed on the cross of calvary you know these mysteries all these truths are not found in everybody my brother my sister don't forget Overcoming power, how can you receive it? How can it be yours? <laughs> Overcoming power, not as we have diluted was people are preaching all over the places today. <laughs> people they are even taking us into one religion faith now, <laughs> where the Muslim can come to the church and worship their God. <laughs> A self-made man of God said, "Yeah, last last week, I watched uh, his program. I will I will not mention it here because this is going on radio. But at the second section, I will mention his name. Now he said, uh, the, the in their church, their church normally has three doors, three entrances." The one they will enter through, then the other two, one by the left, one by the uh, right. He said, <laughs> as they are marching in, they, they will get to the T junction inside the church. Can you imagine? That is the language of the demonic people, the language of the ritualists, the, the language of the herbalists. He said they will get to the T junction in their church. So there is a T junction. In some churches, <laughs> immediately I listened to that. I, 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 my eyes went to our church in Nigeria, and I noticed that we have four doors there. I said, "Praise God, <laughs> we don't have to <laughs> show." <laughs> we have four, four doors. <laughs> Glory to Jesus, Hallelujah! The, this present world, we have missed it. The, this world is gone, and let me tell you. And this is to let us know that Jesus is at the door, very close than before. This is not the time to be building an empire for ourselves. This is not the time to be building our earthly kingdom. This is the time to prepare ourselves for heavenly kingdom. Let's continue reading. Don't forget, we are reading from 1 John chapter 5. We started from verse 5. We have read verse 6. Now, to verse 7 now. For there are three that testify the spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three are in agreement. If we accept the testimony of men, God's testimony is greater because it is God's testimony that he has given about his son. God's testimony given about by his son. So without his son, you can't know the father. 
Without accepting the Son, you cannot accept the Father. Without believing in yourself, you cannot believe in the Son or in the Father. The three, they were in agreement. <laughs> and the three, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. The Spirit is God, the Spirit. The water is the Word of God. And the blood, all these three, they are one. <laughs> Unique personalities represented by Jesus. They were all found in Christ Jesus. If you don't have that revelation, you have missed it completely. And you can never be an overcomer. You cannot receive the overcoming power. See from where we start. Say, who is the one who conquers the world? For you to conquer the world, for you to conquer witches and wizards, because principalities and power, they are the ones ruling, ruling this world. If you can't be there, you join them. All these Orthodox churches, long time ago, they are they are they are, they are pastors, they have they have been operating under under juju, under fake powers. But the Pentecostal, they are even worse. So, there is no church to be trusted. You can only trust the Lord your God. The Bible said, they that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. If you don't know this God this way, the spirits, the water, and the blood, you cannot know God. The three agrees together to be one. Jesus himself said it. He said, I am my father. We are one. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, if you think, oh, Jesus is Lord and God, you can never be an overcomer. You cannot receive the overcoming power. Because the spirit, the water, and the blood, all the three are found inside Jesus Christ. If you read first John chapter 1, is it not there? In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And God, that Jesus, is the word of God. And the first of John chapter 1, he said, the, the word became flesh. The word became human. The word became Jesus Christ, the word of God. The word that set life before life and death before you. And the word that guided you and said, choose life. If you have chosen life, you will never be destroyed. If you have chosen life, nobody can destroy you. Nobody can kill you before your time. If you have chosen life, you will live even in the midst of crisis. If you have chosen life, no weapon formed against it can prosper. If you have chosen life, you cannot die before your time. If you have chosen life, you will walk on the high places. It depends on your choice. You don't just follow people, follow, follow. You don't just visit a place because you see crowd there. As a matter of fact, God is taking us back to the time of where two or three shall gather together in my name. Quote me. We are getting there. Unless, if, because it has been said, the nation that is looking for signs and wonders, the word of God says there is no signs and wonder that shall be given to you. Except the one that was given in the time of Jonah. The time that repent and return back to me. If you don't return back to God, you will likewise perish. Hallelujah. Let's continue the word of God. Verse 9. If we accept the testimony of men, God's testimony is greater. Because it is God's testimony that he has given about his son. The one who believes in the Son of God, can you see, has the testimony in himself. The one who does not believe God has made him a liar because he has not believed in the testimony that God has given about his Son. No wonder. Revelation 12, 11 and 12 says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. What is the word of your testimony about who God is? 
about Jesus, about the blood of Jesus. What is your testimony? Because that is the one that will make you an overcomer. That is the one that will give you, you know, overcoming power. That is the one that will, when others will be perishing, when people will be dying, when people will be running helter skelter, as it is in our time now, the Bible said, deliver yourself from this untoward generation. Deliver yourself, rescue yourself. This is the generation whereby fake people are at the helm of affairs of leadership, both spiritual and the, 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 the political. People are into cabals. People are into occultic. People are into demonic power, demonic influence. But the time of the devil, the short time is over. This is the time to expose every hidden six. This is the time to disgrace. This is the time for judgment. What made Jesus to, to weep over Jerusalem? He wept, and his, heaven is weeping over our nation today. Heaven is weeping over all, all the ministers of God who have gone to, to the place of no return. To me, it is as if even the common door of salvation, because salvation is, is common. According to Jude verse 3, the salvation that is common, but there's something needful I need to tell you. You need to contend earnestly for the faith that has been given to the saints once, once, not twice. Jesus is not coming to die again. He died, he resurrected. And that is why Brother Paul cried as I did, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Knowing Jesus is not enough. Understanding him from the point of resurrection makes you an overcomer in such a time like this. Overcoming power, how can it be yours? How can you be among the few that shall be saved? How can you be among the few that will welcome the second coming of Christ? Hallelujah, somebody. Now, verse 12. The one who has the son has life. Looking into the world today, see many people that have rejected Jesus. Not only rejecting Jesus, see many people that are in churches that have been deceived by pastors because of money. People that have been led astray. I, I, are you not weeping for these people? Most of the time I, I see myself weeping. Inside the church I weep. When I'm ministering, I weep mostly. I weep for people. Why? If you have compassion for people, you this is the time to cry as Jesus wept over Jerusalem. He said, for you do not know the time of your visitation. Coronavirus has come. In such a time like this, more terrible things coming. This is our generation where the herbalists will be telling you God told them that our cleansing, we are going down there, uh, there in the afternoon. We are going to associate more on that. Because the so-called pastors, big general verse and bishops, they cannot hear from God. So it's the Abalis now that is telling us God told him that Abuja did cleansing because of the blood they have shed there. Everywhere need cleansing. Our heart need cleansing. Our family need cleansing. <laughs> this is the time to return back to God. Jesus wept over Jerusalem. As he's weeping over Nigeria, over all nations, over Africa. For you do not know the time of your visitation. Confession everywhere. People would try this church, they jump to another church. Because they didn't know God. They didn't have this revelation. You cannot have this revelation. And you will not be stable in God. You dare not have this revelation. And you will not lift up your heads to pray. And you will not see God. But if you don't have that revelation. 
the one who has the son has life. The one who doesn't have the son of God does not have life. I have written this thing to you who believe in the name of the son of God so that you know that you have eternal life. Eternal life is not what you are seeking for here and there. Eternal life is the revelation you have. Eternal life is not in how much prayer you are praying. Eternal life is not how many times you call fire, 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 Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. That is not eternal life. That cannot give you eternal As a matter of fact, people you see weeping in prayer, shouting, they are living in fear. When you are afraid, you want to use prayer to cover up yourself. Revelation of who Jesus is. Revelation that if you catch that revelation, it promises, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Revelation that God is spirit. They that must worship, must worship him in spirit and in truth. Revelation that anyone that is committing sin is of the devil. And you don't want to be a child of the devil. The devil is a thief. According to John 10 verse 10, you can see they, they have different mission, different assignments. The thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So all this destruction you are seeing is not from God. All this stealing that, you are, that is going on in our country is not from God. It's from the devil who is a thief. But the uh, part B of that John 10, 10 says, But I have come that they might have life. They may have it in abundance. Jesus came that you and I will have life in abundance. Life in surplus. Life that we can share with others. Life. And when there used to be an adage when there's life, <laughs> there's hope. Hope maketh not a shame, not disgrace. Where there's no life, there's no hope. And where there's no hope, there will be disgrace and shame. Overcoming power. How can we get it? How can it be ours? You cannot receive all your power except you go through the process. And that process is in John chapter 3 from verse 1. The process of being born again, you can't rule it out. No matter how good you are, no matter what qualities, good qualities you have, you see, it, it will be an added advantage for you when you have godly heritage or qualities, good qualities. It will be an added advantage for you. Because you see some people, they do not have Jesus, but they have good qualities. They can be trusted. You know, they, 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 they can be cheerful. They can be nice to people. They can be given to people, but without Jesus, they are not complete. And whereas you see people who sleep in the church, you see people who carry title, bishop, bishop, senior apostle, superior apostle, superior prophetess, they are they are they are more wicked than the devil. Everything is by the spirit, the spirit, the water. And the blood, they work together. If you don't believe in the three, you have missed it. The three never call one another. The spirit, the water, and the blood are found inside human being. Every human being has it. Now, it, that, and the Bible says, to whom you yield yourself to. If you yield your spirit to the devil, the outside kingdom, Satan will be the one controlling your life. Overcoming power. 
How can you achieve it? How can you be an overcomer? Read it again. First John. Who is it that overcomes the world? It's by the revelation. Who you are, whom to follow, where to go. The group of people you are to mingle with or separate yourself from. The Bible said they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God, not children of God. God doesn't want you to remain a child. Sons of God means grown up. You don't just seek for little, 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 little knowledge. You seek for real knowledge through the word of God. Not through consulting prophets and pastors for prayers, looking for somebody to pray for you. When you are supposed to give out of the abundance that Jesus Christ you have invited into your life has given to you. That but I have come that they might have life and to have it in abundance. Whatever life you have that you cannot share with others is fake life. It's not even life. They are just deceiving them. Look at Gehazi and Elisha. Gehazi's life, that was his choice. Elisha's life has a choice. Who are you in the body of Christ? Overcoming power is by your choice. You chose whom you want to be, whom you want to follow. Chose ye this day whom you will follow. You follow Jesus or you follow the thief. The thief is the devil. He has nothing good to offer anybody. A nation that has surrendered to the devil will never see good. It's better. You don't call yourself righteous nation. So that the devil continue to prosper and prosper and prosper because he's the God of this world. He's the prince of this world. Jesus said it. He said the prince of this world came. He found nothing in me. And this prince of the world, prince of this world told Jesus, lied to Jesus. He, he missed the knowledge about Jesus. He didn't have this revelation. The devil. He, he knew not whom he was standing before. He mistakenly tempted Jesus. He lied that the whole has been handed over to him. Took him to a, a high mountain, high pinnacle, showed him the whole world. He said, oh, it belongs to me. All I'm just asking you, bow, and I will give you any part you want. So many pastors with names today. That is what they found themselves in. They have bowed. They have surrendered the revelation of the word of God to ordinary word of God, to ordinary word of men, to suit people, to make them remain bound in their church. They trade upon people's glory. Those of you that are following pastors all about, you didn't know what you have. They take what you have from you, add it to their own. That is what is happening. So they are shining. Why you are reducing? Why you are hailing? Ba 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 ba. I will father. I will father in the Lord. Jesus went over Jerusalem as the Spirit over those people who didn't know Him. Jesus is weeping over you. That you have lost it. You miss it already. Let's continue. Because we are to read to verse 15. Now verse, verse 13. I have written these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God. So that you may know. <laughs> oh, that, See that clause there. So that you may know. If you want to know. That you have eternal life. If you are sure you have eternal life, you will pursue it. You will not allow yourself to be distracted by what is going on around us today. I am a living witness. Since I made correction about my life, 
the wrong religion I found myself into as a child. And I realized I was, you know, uh, on the wrong path. I returned back to God. I invited Jesus into my life. And I, to till today, I want to make sure I don't deviate from that right path. You have a choice. A choice. Everyone has a choice. We all have our own choice. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. The God of your fathers will learn about Ruth and her uh, other, okay. other uh, wife of the son of Naomi, that is Oprah. You know what the Bible said? Naomi realized yeah, she has missed everything. The two sons she had died in her lifetime. So the wives of the two sons, they followed Naomi to a certain place where Naomi kissed two, the two of them. Said, won't you return back to your father's gods? <laughs> there are gods who, many, 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 many. Jehovah has his own God. Do you know your own God? Or the God of your Jew is your God? I pity you. Because your wife me or more be your Lord, it's in your own ballet, your temi. Me or more be your Lord, it's in your own ballet, your temi. Oh, yeah, your tear. You better choose. If you have, you notice, or you discover, that you are not sure of the God of your general overseer. The way you are going is not too late for you. When I was not sure of the God who was serving me, my former religion, I made research between 1982 to 1985. The moment I was sure I was into error, I made a U-turn. And today, I am happier than that time. The road may be rough. But at the end of the tunnel, I can assure you the lights. The road is not easy. Who can be sure? He has an life. Are you sure? Is eternal life at your focus? If you are sure, you will pursue it. You will not be deviated. But because many people are not sure. Oh, I wouldn't want us to miss reading from Amos. But let's read this quickly. Verse 14. Now this is the confidence <laughs> we have before him. <laughs> Do you have confidence? Whenever we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Because many people do not have confidence today. They will jump from redeemed to mountain of fire, from mountain of fire to deeper life, from deeper Chosen, you know, jumping around, jumping around. New converts are not coming to Christ. Who maybe you didn't realize that the door to evangelism is being shut against nations. People don't respect altar call again. When you call for other people that you see, they just follow people that they see coming out. Some people they are just coming so that you pray for them because they believe. Anointing more than them. What are we saying? This is the confidence that we we have before him. You must have confidence. If you don't have confidence in yourself, you cannot have confidence in God. You will rather have confidence in other people whom you are not supposed to have confidence in. Many people have confidence in their pastor. They don't have confidence in themselves. They were not sure whether they are Christians. They were not sure whether when they call or look unto heaven and pray, their prayer will be answered. So they believe it is their geo that is living better life than them that can lay hands on them. I pity you. You have been robbed by the devil. The enemy 
has stolen your joy from you. The enemy has taken away your knowledge from you. And that is why, God forbid, you will not be among my people perish for lack of knowledge. You will not perish while you are in the church. You will not perish while you are believing all that your pastor is telling you. The Bible says, believe not all spirit. Test if that spirit is of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me read. And if we know that he hears whatever we ask, <laughs> before you can believe that, like I told that from America last Sunday, that why do you want me to pray for you? You can pray yourself. If you have confessed Jesus, don't listen to the voice of the devil. Because the moment you come to Christ, the devil wants to be telling you, warning you, you know, are you sure? Voices, you should be able to identify which voice you are to listen to. And once you have identified that, you will always listen to the voice of God. And how can you listen to the voice of God? By the leading of the Spirit. How can you be led by the Spirit? Because only they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. If you know, if you are sure, if you have that confidence that a child of God. Just like any other pers better person on earth, you will have that confidence inside of you that you will not be misled. We know that we have what we have asked for. Let me read it again, verse 15. And if we know that he hears whatever we ask, <laughs> don't forget that anyone that call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Anyone. He never said any pastor, any prophet, any evangelist. The word of God never said that. But because you are believing what your pastors are telling you, making you to feel that they are superior than you, making you to see that they are closer to God than you, making you to believe you have to come to them before you can have access to heaven. I pity you. Jesus is weeping over you. You are making heaven to weep over you, over your ignorance. Because ignorance is your disease that will destroy you if you don't separate yourself from it. The difference between they that believe in Christ and they that didn't believe in Christ. They have subjected themselves, those that didn't believe in Christ. They have bowed to the devil. And the God of this world can offer them anything they want as long as they have lost their so they are not they they, they they are not having eternal life but those of us who have confessed jesus who have confidence that whatever we ask in prayer without doubt without fear <laughs> oh without feeling inferior in the presence of god without having guilty conscience oh the sin i've seen 10 years ago oh it's still to me, my brother, my sister, you need your faith. You need to work on your faith. The Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Now, without wasting time, as I promised, let's see Amos. The book of Amos is in the Old Testament, chapter 8. Chapter 8, let's read from 11. Verse 11. Hear this. The days are coming, <laughs> and the days are now. This is the declaration of the Lord God. When I will send a famine through the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but of hearing the word words of the Lord. We are in the time of the famine of hearing the word of God, knowing the word of God, witnessing the, 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 the power of the word of God. There is power in the word of God. Oh, wonderful. It says, it's not the famine of corn. It's not the famine of bread or bono soup with pepper soup. It's not the famine of 
uh, bush meat. It's not the farming of Gary and the Lubo. It's not the farming of there's no the farming of the word of God. When you you are hungry for food, you you you, you know is after that you are talking about the the, the, the appetites that hungry for the common food. But when this time around we are talking about the famine of the word of God. When you lack the rema, the real word of God that pastors have kept to themselves, if they have it at all. Because to me is because they don't have it. This is not the time to mingle ourselves with people you are not sure of. Peter said, safer and good, I have none. But such as I have, not such as we have, this is the time to stand alone. This is the time to distinguish yourself from the crowd. This is the time to distinguish yourself from the friend you, you are not sure of what is carrying, what is happening. Peter says, such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. This is not the time to mingle with people that will tell you, like, like our mother in the Lord that will be sharing with us this afternoon from California, said there was a time she wanted to start a church at Ibadan. And uh, she had already started. And instead of the church to grow, as she was sharing this with us, my mind went to when we started the church, our church in Nigeria. He said the people that were coming to the church service, they will be waiting. Mommy, I need 10,000. Mommy, I need to pay for my rent. Mommy, I need transport money. I need it. And that is how it is. And the mama said, even myself, I'm living by faith. It's not that I have all this money. People will send to your church frustrated people. People that will make you to think, am I called of God? People that will make you to think, ah, why other churches are flourishing? Why are they doing it? And you have no excuse than to go and ask them. And that demonic spirit, because it's because your spirit has not been regenerated. It's not me. But because my spirit was regenerated, I don't bother to visit anybody. I knew what I was into. I never gave up. Oh, and that has helped me. So don't give up, Pastor. Are you there listening to me? The members you have, they are the ones that want to rob from, from Peter to Paul. They are the ones that want to take the little offering you have gotten that is not even sufficient for you and your family. That's how it is. Let me share this as, uh, experience with you. We had a, a, a night, a, a, no, an evening fellowship. <laughs> In our church, Tabelkota. And this woman, very rich, and she got born again by reading a copy of my book, the one I wrote. She gave her life to Jesus. If you don't have this understanding, the devil will just be, you know, beating you here and there. So everything went down for the woman. She had no more money. And she was riding a car, best car. She came with the car to the fellowship that night. And after the service, she was with us. We talk and talk and talk and talk. From Genesis to Revelation, talk, 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 talk. I noticed <laughs> 11 o'clock, the woman was not leaving. To 12, ah. Then I managed to. So let us go to the car so that you'll be going. I never knew that. Probably she doesn't know how to tell us that there was no fuel in the car. When we got there, the car refused to start. I said, it's like there's no fuel in the car. She had no money. Today is history. This is how life is. You better take it. 
you believe or you drop it. The offering we gathered that night wasn't up to 200 naira. I took taxi around 12 after 12. The only filling station, if you are conversing with Abe Okuta very well, was at Itoku. I went to Itoku, they have closed. I now went to the Itoku roundabout. I think it was Mobile that was there then. So I was able to get fuel. That was how I came back. The offering for that day. But today, many a times the woman has been writing checks, 50,000 and above, given to the ministry. But if you don't understand how it works, the devil will destroy you. Everything you get out of get out from you, Jesus. When you come to the light of Jesus, the devil wants to contend with those things. They are the unrighteous mammon. Unless you are careful, everything you have gotten in the time of ignorance, if they are not in the normal way, Satan wants to contend because he is the one that has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And the moment you don't know the battle to fight, you don't know how to go about it, little by little, those things will be dropping, 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 just to draw you back. I told a man, it's late now, God used me for his conversion. I don't want to mention his name now. I may do that later. He changed from that religion to Christian religion. And I told him, he was strictly rich. In fact, before he gave his life, he, he used to have crusade and he would be sharing money, sharing money to the people that attended the crusade. That was how rich that man was. So now that he gave his life, I worked with him for one and a half months to put him through. And I cancelled him. He never did my cancer. And I told him, I said, all the money you had before, the devil want to contend it to. As long as they are not righteous, you may lose them. He took me for granted. And that was the time of Abashia. He had two merchant banks. Those banks failed. Abasha, if you remember, arrested all of the directors of those banks, jailed them. It was after his death that this man was released, probably with others. He died later. It's no more today. Ignorance. Even after you have been born again, if you don't know what you are supposed to know, my people perish. A lack of knowledge. Because they want to contend with you, bring you down, make you doubt yourself, want you to be confused, make you to be half big bread, half big bread. You are neither there nor here. Why do you want to allow that? I place before life and then choose life, pursue life. Don't look back. After you have lived. Your hand upon the plow, you look back, the battle of feet for the kingdom. So, this is the time of scarcity of the word of God. Pay the price to acquire knowledge. Know the word of God yourself. The rema, not the letter, because the letter gives, it is the spirit that gives life. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. 2 p.m. Join us on our Facebook and on our YouTube page. It's going to be wonderful. I believe God has touched you for this sermon, overcoming power. You can also read Isaiah 40 from 31 to 41. You need to wait upon the Lord. Waiting upon the Lord will make 
you know, you will renew your strength. Stop moving about. The devil doesn't want you to wait upon the Lord. He knows when you wait upon the Lord. Heaven will be open. Your eyes will be open. Heaven will receive your prayers. So instead of you waiting upon, how can you wait upon the Lord? In fasting and in prayers. That is the period of your wilderness experience. When you'll be left alone. You wait upon the Lord, not running a task center. We are in the time of the famine of the word of God. Seek ye for the kingdom of God and righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Be sure that you have that eternal life at focus. You have it ahead of you. That is your goal. Pursue it. Run after it. Don't forget Romans 10. 13, I've quoted it. Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. <laughs> Including you. Not every pastor, not every prophet. Any pastor, any man of God, any prophet, they are not better than you. Depends on how you develop yourself. As I told that brother from America last week, I don't need to pray for you. Pray for yourself. Who You are not seeing me. You didn't know who I am. You only saw me on Facebook. You want me to pray for you? Pray for yourself. Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Anywhere. Matthew 7, 21 says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, we enter into the kingdom of heaven. But only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. So let that be your focus, your goal. Remaining in the will of God. Why you are running after Satan? You don't know people you are running to. What you didn't get, you think you will get it in another ministry. From Mountain of fire to mountain of water. A man of God shared his experience with me. It was in this country. There was a program held by the founder of the mountain of fire. I think uh, what that area? Is this Old Kent Road? Old Kent Road. Yes. Some years ago. We tried to be there. There was no parking space. The reason why I said I wanted to see the man with all this house, but parking space never permitted us. This pastor was there and he shared his testimony with me that they were asked to open their private parts, they wanted to anoint it with oil. So, just will be preaching, they will put a bottle of oil with their Bible. When you when when you have the word of God, the anointing oil. <laughs> Only the, when the Bible says, "Is anyone sick among you?" Let the elders pray for him. Who are the elders? Not elder Nicodemus. Also. Forget not Nicodemus was an elder, but he knew nothing about being born again. So how many elders are not born again today? So if they lay hands on you and pray for you. Nothing will happen. If they put the whole bottle of oil on you, they are destroying your life. The reason why you yourself must know God on a personal level, overcoming power. How can you achieve? How can you be among overcomers? How can you be able to stand in such a like this? We are people are running her as better. I release the power of God upon you today. Power of knowledge and understanding. Power of resurre resurrection power. I pray that from today, the peace of God that passes all understanding shall be yours. Things will turn around for good for you from today. And you will realize that any tiny day you call upon the name of the Lord, 
heaven shall be open unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. I'll be expecting you at 2 p.m. this afternoon. And same time next week. Don't forget to listen to us on Rock City FM 101.9 in the city of Abelkuta. People from other towns, places, they contact us. Somebody coming from South Africa. Last week, somebody called me from Germany and many others from America, from Nigeria, on Facebook and YouTube. We have more than 50 messages on our YouTube page. Anytime you can go there and check out. You don't know which one. Allow me just to touch your hearts. What you are looking for is inside of you. Stop running at us, Keta. They that know they are God. They don't run at us, Keta. They're strong. And they will do exploits. We are in the period of famine of the word of God. Not famine of a fufu. So, it's better when you are hungry for material things. But when you are hungry for the things of God, you need the word of consolation, the word of love, the word of power, the word of life. Don't forget the spirit, the water, and the blood. All are found in Christ. The three represent God. Go for the three. The spirit, the blood, and the water. Not the keg of water or pure water people are carrying about today. <laughs> Where there's blood of Jesus, there's freedom, there's life, there's healing, there's faith. There's no fire of any kind. God bless you. I love you. See you another time. You are welcome. In Jesus' name. Amen.